Okay, let's do this. It has been a while, but there is lots to celebrate. It's my birthday this week, and we're out of lockdown, which I'm somewhere between, like, and woohoo, we're out of lockdown, and oh, shit, um, <laughs> and um, also, tomorrow, if all my tests come back clean, technically tomorrow I am 10 years cancer free. Although I'm not having my tests until the end of the month, but ah, life is good. Oh no, it's not! It's flooding! Send help! This took a super classy turn. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this old school style. The secondhand bookstore also opened today, which was very exciting. And I wanted to support a small local shop, so I went and got some books. Most of the books I got, it's just kind of one of those things where you walk around the bookstore and you're like, eh, that catches my eye. There's not really any specific reasons for them. Like The Martian, I saw the movie, it was okay, I liked it. Beautiful Creatures was a movie that came out while I was living in London and I remember seeing the trailer and being so excited about it and then seeing the movie and being deeply underwhelmed. Actually, now that I got home and th thought about this, I've tried this as an audiobook before and it felt as underwhelming as the movie. So that might have been a mistake, but try again. Who doesn't love Dawn French? And Fair Game was another one that I really enjoyed the movie, so when I saw the book I was like, eh. And then we got some educational material. But before that, We've got beverages. So I got visitors coming this week, which is lovely because it means there's gonna be a dog in the house again. Hallelujah, Marley Sue, my mum's Marley, is coming down. If you're new to this channel, you might not know that my Marley died a few months ago. He was 15 and a half. And the reason we have two Marleys is because my mum's Marley, we adopted, she was like eight, from someone who was giving her up. I don't know why you would. She's the most lovely dog ever. So we call her Marley Sue. Um, and we used to call my Marley Bobby more than anything. So Bobbles won't be here, but Marley Sue will be and it'll be lovely to have a dog in the house again. This is going well. But so the really big news of being 10 years cancer free is something I actually only realized last night, which is kind of cool. Like that's a very big milestone. It is a little bit annoying that my tests haven't lined up with this week like they usually do but that's just because I'm not being followed up as regularly as I once was which is also a good thing but so it's kind of crazy it's a crazy old week and I don't know what's gonna happen and house is clean I've got booze and we're ready for visitors and we're all open and out of lockdown so here we go so there's not much happening in the bookish world this week I have just press print and it's not finished on the manuscript for book number four to just kind of be able to go through it and see where I was up to and there's about 150 pages done which is a combo of chapters and notes but you know I've got visitors this week got Mali Sue coming I'm probably gonna go on the whale boat because there are mums and calves swimming in the bay which is amazing but you know big week lots to celebrate and fun to be had. So who the hell knows what's gonna happen? I don't, and that's fine. So I'm gonna go and find a cup to put this in because drinking from the bottle is much harder than I remember, or I was much drunker last time I did this. So, cheers. I don't know if you can tell, but I am covered in champagne right now. Oh well. Sometimes I like champagne, but sometimes it's a little rough and I forgot how rough it can be. I think I might be on my way to drunk at quarter past five on a Tuesday afternoon. Need a refill.
been a long time since I had a dog to walk in the morning. She's loving this. She loves looking for the special chocolate drops that the kangaroos leave behind for her. I've also printed off the manuscript for what I have a book for in the Phoenix series. Over the next few days I'll start going through that and trying to get reorientated with the story and how much of the plot is going to move with this next book. Hopefully that won't take too long and I can actually start some writing before book three comes back from its final round of professional edits. And then I'll read through it again and start doing things like formatting and getting the cover design ready and just getting ready to publish, which will be a nice feeling to do again finally after two years. But this week is mostly just about celebrating. Oh, black cockatoo. So today is going to be just chilling at home, walking, Mali Sue, maybe doing some reading if I'm lucky. I haven't read much lately because I've been in editing mode. Um, and then a little bit of retail therapy and we'll be doing some udon for lunch. And I will also be calling the hairdresser to see if they are opening back up because man alive, I need their services. The other thing we might do today is go looking at some waratahs in the local area which are in bloom because of the massive bushfires that came through here two years ago. Some of the Australian uh, native flora and fauna you don't see a lot and you know prior to recently I'd never seen a waratah in the wild so to speak um, and that's just a bushfire effect that we get to see that and they're really beautiful so apparently there's a ton more in bloom since I last went. So, very exciting day. Oh my god, devil ant. Look at the jumpers on that guy.
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel to help it grow. I would really appreciate that. And if you're a YA reader and you want to check out my books, The Hunted and A Night Rises, they are available anywhere where paperbacks and ebooks are sold. So you can get them at Amazon, the Book Depository, anywhere. If you do read it, please make sure that you review it on whatever service you bought it from. That really helps me find readers that will like my work and that helps me build a career and mean that I don't have to go back to a job that I don't like. So I would really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>